Entertainment Spot Jamaica hit give you the baddest news and reviews. Is there? Wagwan, Wagwan viewers and subs, welcome back to Entertainment Spot Jamaica. So, 18 year old gets slapped in Chilani. The police in Chilani are probing the shooting death of a teen along Alberton Main Road on Friday. The deceased has been identified as 18 year old Radim Keen. It is reported that about 3 30 pm, Keen was standing along the road with two friends waiting on his father when a black Silphy Nissan motor car drove up. Gunmen then opened fire hitting the team multiple times. He gets slapped away on the spot. So people may have that video and I may not turn on like the man them deal with the child, wicked brother. The man them pull up in a black selfie scene and then pull up right beside where the young man was standing up with his two friends. As 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 the as the gunman them pull it over so yo, the man them start Lego shotting at the 18 year old people. Here yeah, man about 10 shot or more shot. The, 18 year old get and the man them did also a fire off of the two guys that was standing besides the 18 year old so i'm not sure if them get shot up you know died on the spot because the amount of shot them fling in at the 18 year old it seemed like a some motive it seemed like them definitely did a go for this 18 year old i don't know what this 18 year old young man did to them you know but it seemed like a something definitely wicked him did to them man and make them a man a pull up you know and guess what the thing now him pull up in a broad daylight. The car, the black silver pull up in a broad daylight. A lot of people was on the road. So as soon as them pull up, them start fling shotting at the 18 year old. Then the other two guys that was standing beside the 18 year old run off and them start fire shot after them. And people, it seem like them a gunman and have no sense you know, because after when them done blaze up the 18 year old people. Yeah man, them a drive off the car and it seem like the handbrake was up because after watching the video, the back wheel now move and them did a few boat. But a minute before the car drive off and, and soon as them drive off in the people, you see them stop again, the back wheel now move. So it seem like them gunman are amateur. I not tell no lie. But to where them deal with the 18 year old, me not tell no lie. Execution upon the spot. Right upon the spot people. And as me say, I can't post the video up on YouTube because of YouTube policies that video will be removed immediately. But I kind of feel it for the 18 year old. So you know what I say, people? Yeah, man, he really sad. And what this 18 year old could have do to them, man, and make them, man, come in a broad daylight and blaze up the man. You know what I say, fling about 15 shots in the man. And then fire shot after the young man them where did that turn up beside the 18 year old and then when they're ready to drive off them can't drive off because it seems like the handbrake them never lift up the handbrake so when them drive off the block the back wheel now move none at all people and them did a few about a minute before them could have moved off but there's a prayer say how the police them catch them money because them man that ever deserve to go in a jail now them man deserve it fling with people you see me i say yeah man them man are wicked man brother them man are too wicked how if you do that to an 18 year old and what is a 18 year old could I do to this to them people yeah man jaja it's very cruel i'm not telling no lie so people in other news this interview is from the jamaican gleaner basically they were talking how black man is you me i said was acting in the whole clansman than one child is you me i said basically the lady i say yo him, him look like him did a threat so i'm gonna make you hear what the lady have to say if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button also give this video a thumbs up as well in the Klansman Wandan gang trial, the prosecution's second witness this week testified that incarcerated dancehall artist Vibes Cartel had reportedly ordered hits of three persons, including an entertainer. The witness told the court that the order was reportedly given to the Wandan gang. Court reporter Tanisha Mundle has been covering the trial and now joins us for a roundup. Tanisha, how much detail was presented in court in relation to the allegations involving Cartel? Well, Damien, the witness did not give a lot of information about Cartel, but he did indicate that Cartel had solicited the services of the gang to murder three persons, including a fellow entertainer. That person's name was not revealed. The witness, however, said that two of those persons were killed in Waterford. The witness also said that that instructions came to him directly from Vibes Cartel via phone. He also said that Blackman had sent him to supervise Cartel's video shoot for the song Bokopina, which was being done in McKinley Crescent in St. Andrew. What was the reaction of the reputed one Don gang leader, Andre Blackman Bryan, to this testimony? Well, based on my observation, Blackman throughout the trial, has he looks very worried. He seemed to be very uncomfortable. 
at moments he can be seen holding down his head he can also be seen um, shaking his legs so in my observation he's not comfortable at all well looking ahead now to week six next week what are your expectations well for week six the witness will be wrapping up his evidence in chief he has pretty much um detail all the murders that he would have witnessed or would have known about so um, cross-examination is expected to begin next week thank you very much tanisha mundell there our court reporter a technician who reportedly disobeyed the directive of gangsters in his community to disconnect his home security camera system was killed in broad daylight last saturday near his home in the white lane area of nagohead in port morris and catherine 39-year-old Karen McCollin was killed about 1 o'clock in the afternoon by an unknown assailant who escaped in the area on foot. One thing I know is that the community really appreciates him as a person who has special skill in that area, you know, providing, you know, members of the internet service and so on. Uh, a really, you know, disappointing and unwelcoming type of behavior from those persons in that community. We're not taking it lightly or one thing is sure we're not going to um, give up our communities to gangsters and the police side we're gonna be doing you know all that is possible to restore some level of calm and peace within these communities because the fear of crime is actually you know stifling our own development. So guys comment in the comment section wanna think about all of this is your mercy and Jaja, RIP and kind mother is your may I say yeah man as you heard the news say yo in mother get raped basically them go for your mother in her house go for your mother in her house rape her as they may say and them found the body in her bushes so i haven't seen any client said anything about the video as yet or uh, about his mother but sooner or later i'm gonna break silence more likely i'm gonna post it on him youtube or i'm gonna go live on him instagram so it's really a sad and tragic story as you may say because this is a yo he is a big YouTuber and that go happen to him mother. Is you may say that could be anybody mother and imagine if it was your mother how you would have feel inside. If you know say oh, you have your mother and man running for your mother, rape your mother and kill your mother. Basically the people them did want money and them never get the money so them do whatever they want to your mother and kill your mother. How you would have feel inside, you would have feel messed up and you would have start pre be a badness you know. Badness you know, is you may say so you really sad people so you know just show some condolences to any client and the whole family is here me as a people yeah man it really sad so here yeah, more than the more to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel want to go over to my instagram yeah me as follow me on instagram at entertainment spot jamaica is yeah, me as get me to 1k followers much love and respect guys thanks for the continuous support